I um, started my education at Penrice School where I did 11 GCSEs. Went on to do A-levels because that was what I was explained or expected to do. Did maths, physics, music technology and general studies. And once my college education had finished, I thought I've got to retrain and do something that's going to be that's going to get me a skill in life. So I found that Imaris were offering modern apprenticeships, and that's what I've done. I spent four years doing a modern apprenticeship, gaining an MVQ level three, and that's landed me in the position I am now, which is a trainee engineer in Imaris, and various different jobs around electrical control and automation. Well, I'm really lucky because um, I have such a varied job and as, as I said, I'm a trainee engineer. I'm able to work on electrical control systems. Um, when they break down, I have to repair them. I might be responsible for designing projects in terms of CAD and using computers to design electrical systems. And that can be anything up to sort of £100,000 projects. Um, but again, I can also be out on site um, in working in substations on, on overhead lines and underground cables, looking for faults and switching lines on and off for workmen to work on. Well, within Imaris, uh, as I said, I've, I've sort of done an apprenticeship at MVQ3 level and I was able to straight away get into a trainee engineer place, which in, in terms of Imaris is the next step up. Um, the next position for me would be to hold some sort of assistant electrical engineer role within the company where I'd be responsible for a team of um, power and distribution electricians, ECA electricians and test electricians. Um, and again, the next step from there would be sort of management of um, engineering services. If I were to sort of move out of the company, um, I'd have to be looking at anything that involved design, project management, um, any electrical control, and maybe even renewable energy wind turbine systems. Well, the main advantage, which obviously everyone's interested in, is the fact that you get good wages. In engineering, um, especially electrical engineering, you're able to, to ask, um, ask good wages for yourself. The other advantage would be, for me personally, as I'm a trainee engineer still, is the sort of wide, varied work that I can do. As you already know, I can do control systems all the way up to 11,000 volts work which is um, really good for my day-to-day -day sort of work life. The biggest change I've seen is in technology. We're um, now able to, to do all sorts of different things in terms of how we run different items of plant. Um, even to the point now where we're able to control big open cast quarries um, over the internet, um, right down to using only sort of two or three men, which is a huge, huge um, change in the last sort of five years. Do as much work experience as you can, go to as many different companies as you can, but don't worry necessarily if you can't get into engineering firms. Because when I was going through school, I um, went and taught music at another school for a week. And you might think it's sort of nothing to do with engineering whatsoever, and it isn't. But it's taught me so much about dealing with other people, talking to, talking to people of a different age than myself. And that sort of really paid off when, it, when I've come into this company where I've had to give presentations to managers and people who might not know um, 
or have the same skills as I have, it's, um, you might think that at your work experience placement you're not sort of learning um, what you might ultimately want to do, but something from that work experience will, will carry through sort of to your work life and that's really important that is.